Hi guys, it's me, Lena the Plug. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a haul. I've been shopping quite a bit. Um, I feel like I've been using quarantine, post quarantine, and you know, having a baby, all these things is really it's just excuses to shop more. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm a little bigger than I used to be. I need different clothes for my new body. And you know, I just need every excuse to shop, right? I, I feel also like more excited about really small events, like going to my aunt's house. She knows she lives like 10 minutes from me. And I'm like, oh, I need like a dress for that because we've just been inside for so long that I'm just like very excited and I want to put on heels for almost everything. I think I've mentioned before, I wore heels to Trader Joe's one day because it was like one of the only places I could go to. And I don't know, I just have a little bit of a shopping bug right now and I wanted to share my finds with you. My shopping has been all over the place, cheap stuff, expensive stuff, but I'm here to share all of it with you. Two things I just have to say. One, a couple videos ago, I mentioned that I had no postpartum hair loss and I was super lucky. No, I did have postpartum hair loss. I just didn't notice, but I do notice all the regrowth of the hair. Can you see that right there? Like it is driving me absolutely insane, irrelevant to this video, but I just had to point it out to whoever said, it's coming, you were right. Also other thing that we have to acknowledge is that I am now engaged. I have not made a proper video on my engagement and the proposal and everything. I should probably give that to you guys. I'm also wearing it with the wedding band because Adam gave me the wedding band so that I could get the ring um, appraised and insured. And I was like, whatever, I'll just do it all together. But yeah, isn't it pretty? I'm finally engaged. It happened. When the wedding's gonna be, I have no idea, but I just have to say, I think it's pretty funny that Riley, Trisha, and I all got engaged within, I think, the same 12 months. Riley's married. I just went to her wedding like two days ago, and Trisha's getting married, and I don't know when my wedding's gonna be. Anyways, I just had to clean house and share with you some updates on my life. Before we get into today's video, I just wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is ThreadUp. ThreadUp is an online thrift store, and I'm so excited to be partnering with them because they have some really amazing finds, and I like to budget. I just, you know, I like my expensive pieces, but I like to pair them with pieces that I feel really good about buying, things that I didn't have to spend too much money on, and people are like, hey, where'd you get that? How much was it? And I get to be like, yeah, it was like 90% off. Like, that is, such a brag like girls love to do that over the weekend we were actually uh congratulating riley and telling her her wedding dress was so beautiful and you know even she was like i got it for 50 percent off like girls love to do stuff like that you know and i just i love to find amazing pieces and be like yeah i didn't pay full price it, i don't know there's something about it that just feels so successful like i just feel really responsible when i get something on sale ThreadUp is not your typical thrift store. They have women's clothing, they have kids clothing, and they have really, really nice brands like Free People, which I love, for like 90% off. So I got some Free People finds that I will show you today. And you know, I love the brand, but they're pretty expensive. So it's always nice when you can get something on a discount. So my first ThreadUp find that I was actually super excited about is this BCBG Maxi Zaria Maxi dress. And it retails for almost $300, but I got it for 33 bucks. Mm -hmm. It's super comfy, it's super flowy, it goes with all my sandals, my little heels. I could, I feel like I could really dress it up with jewelry or dress it down. And honestly, this is the perfect thing for me to just throw on to go to the grocery store. Like, this thread of find has to be one of my favorites. I actually went and searched Free People specifically because I wanted something from Free People for a discount. And this would normally be about $240, but I got it for 50 bucks on ThreadUp, which I feel like is such a steal. And I feel like it's just a little bit too sexy for, for YouTube. So I'm gonna take it off and put something else on. I've been wanting a black denim skirt for a while now, and I just decided, why don't I look on ThreadUp? This one that I got is a Zara one, and I got it for only 15 bucks. It fits perfectly. I'm super excited about it. I could pair it with my Britney Spears shirt this is another really cute 15 dollars piece that i found on thread up it's super comfy and honestly i feel like no matter what year i wear this dress in it's gonna work i feel like it's sort of classic sort of timeless and i love thrifting for those sort of pieces because they'll always work so the last piece that i found on thread up which i absolutely adore is this splendid dress it is just such a light airy material and it's honestly perfect for when i get my period and i feel like a balloon because yes i no, it's not fun. And this is the exact kind of thing that I would want to wear. 
also I can totally nurse in it. There's tons of dresses that I have that are up to here and I like I can't nurse in them because I have to like literally take the whole thing off just to nurse in them. But with these, they're kind of like, you know, loose enough. They same, like I feel like I could wear them with heels, I could wear them with sandals and it's just gonna look really cute. If you guys are interested in thrifting online and finding your favorite brands, I would highly recommend you go to threadup.com and use my code LENA30 for 30% off at checkout. You can see everything they have right on the website, which honestly is great because it's such a chore to go to a thrift store and look through all the pieces. Like I just don't have the time and energy for that anymore. Thank you ThreadUp so much. Now let me show you guys my other summer finds that I'm so excited about. So I don't know if it's embarrassing to admit, but I have been shopping on the timeline a lot. I mean, where else are people shopping these days? I don't know, but I've been taking risks on brands that I'm not familiar with, so you don't have to. Also, I have to say that so far I haven't been disappointed in any of the brands. And this is not sponsored. This is my true, honest opinion. The, I've ordered some stuff. The quality has been great. You know, you're always just wondering like, but what does it feel like? What does it actually look like in real life? Because you can do a lot with the photo. You can add, you know, this sort of aesthetic to the photos to make it look more beautiful than it is. And honestly, maybe I've just picked really good brands, but I've been pretty happy. A lot of the brands also just happen to be Australian. Right now, I think this is, what size are you? Yeah. It's always hard to figure out what my size is with, you know, the conversions from Australian sizes. But I feel like you can't really go wrong with a bodycon dress because they're stretchy and they just hug me in all the right places. And I'm pretty happy with them. I feel like I could just throw them on and, you know, dress them up. I know this like cut out dress thing is a huge trend right now, but I'm not mad at it. I think it adds a little bit of flair to what would just normally be like a basic bodycon cotton dress. I cannot remember exactly how much this dress was, but I want to say maybe 60 or 70. I really hope I didn't pay more than that for it just because of the material, you know? Here's another bodycon cutout dress. If you have been keeping up with my Instagram, you know that I wore this dress in my engagement photos and I didn't know that I was actually gonna be engaged when I went to the photo shoot. I thought it was just a family photo shoot, but I'm so glad I wore this dress because I feel like it came out really really good in the photos and and yeah it's just like really really comfy you can't really get crazy in it because at least for me I feel like my boobs were about to pop out at any given moment and I was just walking around like this on the beach but you know I think we only got a nipple in maybe like one picture but you know it's you gotta be careful but it's it's really cute and it works I promise this is my last bodycon cutout dress for this haul. It's not my last bodycon dress, but last cutout one. I just, I'm really attracted to vibrant oranges right now, which is so strange for me because I've actually really despised the color orange for a lot of my life. I don't know, something about it was just not right with me. And now all of a sudden I'm really into orange. I got these glasses to match with this dress. I have no idea where I'm gonna go with this. It is like really thick knit, so it's it's kind of hot for a summer dress. Can I wear it to the club in LA? I don't know, I kind of like want to wear it. I, I, might, I might go to the club this weekend, but like, ew, I hate the club. Um, but can I even wear this? I don't know, I actually like, please let me know where I can wear this dress and if it's allowed in the club in LA because I haven't been in the club in LA for a long time. So I actually have no idea. But this dress is another dress that I took a risk on with another brand that I wasn't familiar with. I think they're also based in Australia. I also got the glasses from them and uh, I didn't have to return it. I was happy with it. So win for me. It's a little bit big. I would have sized down had I known, but I never know with my conversion to Australian sizes. Like I, tr I look at the size charts for like way too long and almost give myself a headache trying to go back and forth between sizes, but I could have definitely sized down. This is a Australian 10 US 6, but I feel like, I feel like sometimes I'm a US 8. So I don't know. It's weird when you're shopping online and just with different brands, different sizes, but um, yeah. Tell me if you're into orange too, because maybe it's like going around the orange bug. I don't know. Here is another set. I posted this, I posted this outfit on my Instagram story and said, please don't let me buy any more gingham. What do you guys think? 
I was like always really into gingham and now gingham is like trendy and more readily available and so I'm kind of dying at all the opportunities to buy gingham in all sorts of colors and not just the blue. I really have no idea where I would wear this outfit to. I'm kind of thinking it possibly will live in my closet for a while before I take it out. If you have any ideas of where I should wear this outfit, please let me know. I'm like, you're a mom now. Like what, where are you going to go and wear this? Like what? I can't, I can't go to the farmer's market in this. Like, what other things do I really do? I don't know, but I love it and I had to have it. And magically it fits. I try not to buy anything that has like a zipper waist situation because usually it will be super tight on my butt and then just still big on the waist. But this happened to work out. Um, it is a US 8. And see, there I sized differently than the dress and it worked out. So I guess... It's weird because the other one I could have gone down. This one I went up and it worked. The top could have probably been a little bit bigger, but it's all right. It fits. It's stretchy. These are the shoes I wanted to show you guys. Another Australian brand. I am now a size nine officially inching into nine and a half. Ever since I had Parker, I was an eight and a half before that. And it's okay. I'm just going to have to buy bigger shoes. We can live with that. So I just showed you their shoes, but also make dresses that I absolutely love. They actually have become like one of my new favorite brands because their size medium fits me like it should. And I say that because a lot of companies like free people size medium is like a size XL. Like, what do I have to buy extra extra small? Cause I'm not an extra extra small. I don't know. I just don't understand some people's sizing. This has like a little bit of a corset waist with a zipper on the side. I love it. It's perfectly girly. I love the color. It's like not, super pink I don't know, i'm just obsessed i have a, a like a green version of this that i wore for easter it's not the exact same cut but it's a similar print just in green and i got a lot of compliments on that i'm super into them like i love looking like i'm going to easter every day really 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 into this dress also super easy to nurse in for me i could just pull the top down and i love it I have one more dress to show you from them. So this is the last piece. It is a bodycon dress with a zipper on the side. Not really that stretchy, so I just almost barely did not fit into it. Every single time I'm like, is it gonna fit? Is it gonna fit? I actually almost wore this one in my engagement photos, but when I asked Adam to pick between the two dresses, he picked the other one and I'm really, really glad he did because he saw the vision. He was the one who knew that they were engagement photos. I didn't. Also, I don't think I would have been able to like waddle on the rocks at the beach in this dress just because it is actually so tight on me. It has like a little bit of a cinch tie so you can like scrunch up and ruffle the sides. I'll give you guys a little bit of a close up look at it. It's got some silver and blue and white accents in it. I don't know. I just really, 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 really like all their prints, all their styles. Super glad that I decided to try them out. It's always a risk. I just read people's return policies because I'm like, I don't know. What if I don't want it? What if I don't like it? Da -dun. Da -dun. Dun, 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 I don't know why I decided to sing that, but yeah, cute dress. I also don't know where I would wear this to. Like I keep shopping as if I have places to go. Um, this is a little too sexy for a family gathering, don't you think? Is it not? I can nurse in it. Convenient. Um, or I could just throw like a really light cardigan over it and then it won't be so inappropriate. I feel like since my butt is big and my boobs are big, everything is just inappropriate on me and it's not fair. I want you guys to vote. I want you guys to tell me which of the dresses that you liked best on me because I just want to feel good about myself and hear compliments from you. Um, also, I just want to know if you guys are into the gingham trend, if you're into the cutout trend. Yeah, like what, what did you like best on me? Like what should I keep buying? Um, I don't know. I just need to stop shopping in general so maybe don't encourage me. But don't forget our sponsor thread up i can shop on a budget thank you again thread up for sponsoring today's video if you guys want to get 30 percent off of your already discounted prices on threadup.com make sure to use code lena30 at checkout for 30 extra percent off okay mama needs to go out on more date nights because now i have all these dresses and i need to make places to go to wear them in um I didn't shop that much, right? I didn't buy that much stuff. There's a lot of stuff I bought that I didn't get to you guys. Should I do this again? Should I keep buying stuff on the timeline and letting you guys know if it was worth it? I'm sure that you guys see brands all the time and you're like, I'm not sure about that. Is the photo just making it look really cute? I'm glad I took the risk with these. I'm sure that I could have gotten super unlucky and had situations, 
But yeah, drop a brand. Let me know what I should check out. Let me know um, about where the best places to shop are. Encourage my bad shopping habit. It's totally new. I think it's like from the pandemic. I was just like, oh my God, online shopping. Just buy stuff. Who cares? We need quick fixes to make us happy right now. And then it just like carried over into post-quarantine. But I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and safe. And thank you for watching my video today. I appreciate every single one of you. I hope you guys have a good day on purpose. And I will see you next time. Bye.